day is as nice as it is today. It's, it'd probably be a little hot for people out there, actually. Right, I know. It's just crazy to mm -hmm. believe that's a month away. Mm -hmm. How nuts is that? We've got a lot to look forward to this afternoon. By 3 o'clock, 80 degrees. So your forecast for tonight, 5 o'clock, 84. And it'll take a while to cool down from highs in the mid 80s around Portland. Today, 76 degrees at 7 p.m. and still in the 70s at 9 o'clock. So as soon as we get some shade and the sun goes over the West Hills, open up the windows and the doors of your house to air it out. That'll be a good idea for sure. 75 degrees in East Moreland. It's already close to 80 degrees in Garden Home and also in Gresham where we've got readings of 77 degrees. Much cooler out along the coast where we've had morning clouds up until right now in most locations. 80s for the Dalles and 77 degrees in Bend. Here's a live look outside. You can see the Salmon Street Springs. A couple of kiddos playing in the water there. I suspect a lot more will be playing before the end of today. Here's a live look in McMinnville where temperatures are in the mid 70s. And the clouds, believe it or not, have begun to lift and part from the coastline. So, you know, you can expect more in the way of sunshine if you are staying in Cannon Beach or perhaps you live there. You're lucky enough to live there. Later on this afternoon, increasing sunshine. We've got sunshine basically from the coast range all the way east through eastern Oregon. But look at this. There is a system off the coast and it arrives this weekend. So how about the timing? Here's your rain and cloud forecast. Here we are at 5 o'clock. Still gorgeous west of the Cascades. East of the mountains and over the Cascades. Potentially a few thunderstorms firing up. I think fewer than we saw yesterday. Here we are tomorrow at 8 o'clock in the morning. You'll notice the high clouds on the increase, but we are still dry tomorrow morning. Then the rain gets closer. Closer and closer, 9 o'clock tomorrow night, potentially the north coast, starting to see that rainfall. And then Sunday, here it comes. Maybe a few light showers before 6 a.m., so most of us won't even notice that. And then I think mainly dry to kick off Mother's Day. But noontime, a band of showers moves through, and it looks like we'll be wet at times through the afternoon. Here we are at 7 o'clock, but we're even wetter on Monday. I think Monday is the wettest day we've had in almost a month. Here you can see scattered showers around at 9 a.m., a wet commute to kick off next work week. So a drastic contrast to what we've seen this week. At the coast this weekend, showers potentially developing late tomorrow evening and into tomorrow night. Sunday will be wet at times with high temperatures dropping down into the low 60s. In the Cascades this weekend, tomorrow is dry and it's warm, 70 degrees at uh, government camp with clouds on the increase. And then Sunday, yes, we are wet, especially in the afternoon. Central Oregon, some showers developing in the afternoon tomorrow, but daytime highs in the 80s, and I think partly to mostly sunny skies, partly cloudy on Sunday with temperatures dropping about 5 degrees. Now back to today. One more beautiful day with crystal clear blue skies to enjoy around Portland. Where do I think we're going to end up? Well, out on the west side of town, 83 degrees in Lake Oswego. East side, 84 in Gresham and 83 in Milwaukee. And then moving up to the north, 81 degrees in Salmon Creek. Here's your seven-day forecast. Tomorrow, kind of a bizarre day. We'll be in and out of the clouds. Filtered sunshine and 80 degrees or so. So it'll be warm. 69 degrees on Sunday. That'll feel chilly, even though it's still above average. And then rain developing, I think, especially in the afternoon. But I don't think we're going to see a ton, a ton of rain on Mother's Day. It's Monday that I think will be a little bit wetter. And then we start to dry things out Tuesday and Wednesday. There's a chance of a shower on Thursday. But mm -hmm. some models saying we could dry out for the rest of the week. So we'll be watching that. Right. But typical spring temperatures, right, for this time of the year? Yeah. Average is 66. So okay. we've just been... Or, or above that. and beyond. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thanks, Sally.